Hello guys, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a new build that I've been trying out. I've played probably about four games with it so far, like total, as I'm recording this commentary. And uh, it's pretty interesting. I will say right off the bat that Liar's Handshake, the cross counter attack, is very, very circumstantial. And I haven't really found too many situations where I'm using it. But I want to give it some more time, uh, personally, before I make my final verdict on it. But I'm going to give you guys what's on the up and up in terms of the build and everything that I'm running and my thought process uh, with everything that's going on in the build just in case it's something you want to try out at some point as well is this going to be something that is meta eh, i doubt it i highly doubt it especially since omni is not nerf omni is literally exactly the same that it was and then there is that new chest piece that gives you increased damage once you exit invis so i'm highly doubting that this is something that's going to be meta is it something that i enjoy running yes is it going to be meta probably not and with that being said let's get into the subclass of my arch rider <laughs> Alright, and now to start, we are going to be using the Arc Staff Super. I think Arc Staff Super is very good. It allows you, with the right aspects and fragments, I believe Flow State and Spark of Resistance, it allows you to tank up to 93, or to have 93% damage resist, which makes you unkillable while you are dodging. So as long as you tank all of the enemy's damage and then kill them afterwards, you will be fine. As this video is being recorded, Blob came out and they fixed flow state, so everything in this video still applies but the 93% damage resistance. I'm not exactly sure what the number is for that. It's definitely not 93%. It's very strong still, but not that strong, so everything else will be applying in the video. Enjoy! And then for my abilities, I am using Gambler's Dodge, which gives me my melee back. Then I'm using Blink, Disorient Blow, and then Arc Bolt Grenade, because I just, I don't know, personally I feel like it's the best grenade. that It's the one that I enjoy the most, so. And then for my aspects, I'm using Flow State and Lethal Current. And then Fragments, Spark of Recharge, Spark of Resistance, Spark of Feedback, and Spark of Volts for the 10 recovery, and Spark of Feedback for the little bit of damage increase on top of the damage increase you will be having with Liar's Handshake, which will get more into the specifics of that in a little bit. Okay, now we are going to move on to the weapons. Yeah. And the weapons that I'm using, I'm going to be using my staple Fractivist. This may change to the God Roll Wastelander, which in my opinion is Corkscrew Rifling, Salt Mag, Slide Shot Opening Shot Enhanced with a Range Masterwork. Here is the roll on my frack. I have Barrel Shroud, Accurized, Quick Draw, Opening Shot, and a Handling Masterwork with a Targeting Adjuster mod. And then my God Roll Pally, which has Hammer Forge, Ricochet, Quick Draw, Range Finder, Range Masterwork, Range Mod, and Vanguard Vindication. And then my Storm Chaser, which has Fluted Barrel, Particle Repeat, range finder rampage stability mass work and quick access sling those are my staple weapons but part of the build is the weapons that i have in reserve as well so the weapons that i will be having in reserve are you know my 120 true prophecy heat cannon just in case i feel like i want to switch to that the messenger for a long range option on a pulse wither horde just in case i'm playing trials and there's like a bubble another long range option pulse no time to explain another super long range option the scout per csd isoluna if i'm feeling like i want to play a primary hand cannon multi mac for a close range uh no special ammo option and succession if i feel like i need to snipe which is very very rare and then on into the energy slot i have frozen orbit in case i feel like i need to snipe pretty much god roll here like actually and then the seven seraph CQC. This is the role that I have right here. And then Lord of Wolves, just in case it starts getting real funky. Same thing with the Glaive. And then Borrowed Time with Extended Barrel, Armor Piercing, Range Finder, and Snapshot, and Range Masterwork for Close Range Energy Option. And then Pointed Inquiry for a Long Range Energy Option. And same with Last Perdition. And then all my special weapons, it really depends on the map and the game type. So if I'm like playing sixes on a big map, I'll probably swap to an LMG. If it's a smaller map, maybe Memory Interdict, or Wardcliff, or Galley, or sleepless if i'm looking to counter a super and maybe tractor cannon or wardcliff or black talon if i'm looking to just cut some fuckers up and half truce and that will pretty much cover the weapons for this build let's get into the armor Okay, so to start the armor, I also, the armor is like not exactly set up 
the way that I'd like it to be. But usually I have a couple of builds set up within my armor that I can hot swap to. Right now that's not the case, but Omni will definitely be one of those things. Given that Omni is still not nerfed, unfortunately, even though they said they were going to nerf it. Uh, but I will get into the specifics of that. I'll get into the specifics of my armor and what it does and the functionality of the mods that I have and why I have it. So my mods on my helmet are going to be hand cannon targeting and shotgun targeting. And then my gauntlets, I'm going to obviously be using Liar's Handshake, which using your arc melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counter punch that will heal you. Now, the extremely powerful part is a 200% damage increase, which pretty much allows you to one hit melee anything in the sandbox almost. Um, it's very situational and I've found very few situations where I find it useful, but it can be very strong. I'm definitely going to mess around with it more. I have Focusing Strike, which gives me class ability energy when I melee, Fastball for a longer grenade throw distance, and then on my chest piece, flinching hand cannon aim and flinching shotgun aim, and then quick charge and shotgun holster. My boots for my shotgun to increase the base handling, although it already has 61 in quick draw, helps with the ADS speed, I believe, and then powerful friends and outreach. So with all that, that is the full build explained. Now let's get into the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, we got Jav 4. This should be... I don't think I want to use this on Jav. I would want to use my GL, but they took that shit away, apparently. Right, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if I'll use my GL. I might I might change. I might use the LMG. I don't know. We'll see. And towards B. It's coming towards B right now. Backed up. This guy one shot. He's probably not gonna repeat that. I'm gonna reload my hand cannon. Uh, he might repeak. Get moving this way. I will say, oh my god. I will say, uh, not having Stompies right now, I could. Oh my god, Sports just got like a triple kill with Lorenz and QP. Jeez. Oh, that guy's burned the fuck out of me. I will say, not having Stompies right now is definitely a little different. I'm not. I'm not used to that. Pick those guys up. I'm gonna head towards B. Get some angles here. I'm gonna I'm gonna back up. They're gaming real loud over by B. Oh, I'm dead. That's it. Th those. Oh man, everyone's leaving. See, this is what. Oh, QP man. I've I've seen a lot of people complaining about this, but yeah, people back out a lot. Like, it's like if you're not winning, people just, like, give up for some reason. I'm gonna die to skips. Yeah, that's lucky. We did get teammates back pretty quickly, though. That usually does not happen. At least from my experience, the very few PP games I've played. This guy has me one shot. The load here. Try to get an angle. Might actually be worth me using, a. Uh, an Icarus grip, potentially. Or like a Adept Icarus grip. I'm gonna die this guy. Yep. I'm gonna res up. Fucking try to secure C here. I don't know where this guy is. I've seen him on radar. I feel like I had to use my blink more here. Try to get angle on power. This guy's backing up outside. He's dead. I'm gonna get power here. No, I'm not. Yep, not gonna get power, never mind. Very close to Arc Strider uh, right now as well. You kill that guy, this new mouse pad is pretty funky. I am what the fuck? I can't I literally can't even turn my mouse because my cord is I can like put my cord all the way back. Alright, well about to have Arc Strider here. We got, we got the boy, Arius. I'm gonna head towards A, because we are going to need this. I'm gonna get sniped. Guy's just gonna be hard scoped watching that against the wall. I'm gonna push towards this guy again here. Try to ape him. 15 damage, my legendary pellet. Take him out. Sit on the zone. This, I think this guy is meeting me? No, he died. Never mind. I'm gonna jump. Oh, no, not. Take those two guys out. I'm gonna head towards A because my teammates are actually no. I'm gonna I'm gonna push through my super. That is not going to stop me, my friend. 
I am one. I am all, oh, that's gonna hurt, but not enough to kill. I'm definitely gonna get pushed here. Yep, I'm dead. I'm gonna head towards A, as you gonna get sniped, unfortunately. Take him out. Keep heading towards A. Need to cap two zones here, unfortunately. Because that is the name of the game, is control. We uh, do not have control at the moment. Guys, one shot over here. Good angle. Guardian down. I am one shot. I believe he's got the golden gun behind me. We tap that guy. I'm gonna try to flank this one. Take him out. Is he gonna damage buff for like not too crazy? I'm gonna die there. I should not have slid out. I was weak, and there was definitely one or two guys there. I didn't know. So usually not a good idea to peek an angle you have no information on, because shit like that will happen. Take that guy out. I'm going to back up. This could be winnable. This is a very hard fought game here, but it could definitely be winnable. Keep heading towards the back here. This guy is weak in front of me. And shock on him. I just died with a trip mine. That's unlucky. I had the cross counter going, so I was going to try to go in for a melee kill there. We just swapped the zones. Or, yeah, we just swapped the, the, the respawns. Areas, so this might actually be bad because I believe they have a better spawn now. It would appear at least that that spawn was better because once we got their spawn, we, we, the game seemed to turn. So I don't even know what just happened there. My melee just went, and his did not because I'm assuming he's an Ophidian Enjoyer. Head towards B, try to cap his zone. That is very important. One thing uh, I forgot to mention about my build currently is I'm probably going to be swapping out. I'll most likely be swapping out uh, my, or not my palindrome, my Ractathus for a Wastelander at some point whenever I get that. So. Nice, good job. Guy's down. Guy's floating above the doorway. Nice, good job. Kill that guy. I'm very close to Arc Strider, so I can probably pop it and push the zone outside. Kill that guy. I'm gonna head right. Kill him. Last guy's running. There is no escape. I am inevitable. There apparently is an escape. Never mind. This is uh, very winnable. If we cap this zone, this guy pops Arc Strider, gets like any kills with that. We'll be in a really good spot. Got this guy no shield. No tags, unfortunately. Just need one kill. I'm just going to lane with this guy. And uh, we made that comeback. Wow. From the jaws of defeat. <laughs> I, I'll say, I will say, that was uh, quite a quite a girthy comeback there. I was not expecting that to end that way. Oh man, love that. Love that so much. That was a grueling game there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and the video. This build is okay. I definitely want to test it out more. That was my first game with it, but we'll make that the gameplay. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.